Hey guys, the first game in week two of Rainbow Cup SA is the Sharks versus the Lions. Let's face it, the Sharks last week, they did not have the best game. The Lions also not the best game. So it would be interesting to see how these two teams do clash against each other in this one. The Sharks, a lot of their game did come down to the Stormers having a lot of guys off of the field. And just at the end, not scoring a try there and getting the win. The Lions, they kind of lost it there at the end slipping a couple of tries as well uh, to the Bulls so at the end of the day both teams will want to get a, get a better game from uh, this weekend around looking at the two starting teams the Sharks they are confident in their starting team no changes there the Lions there's a couple of changes here and there a lot of it down to injuries if you look at the front row Sadi he comes in at the prop uh, he did a good job when he came on from the bench last week for Duplessis. So he gets a start this week and they will need it because it's up against a very strong unit in the front row. Steve Satole, he was also very good in the front row last week as well. PJ Boeta, also a good game at the hooker. Last week, the Sharks were actually not the dominant force against the Stormers. I actually expected that. Oxenche, Thomas Dutue, and then Fez Mbata, that's the front row for the Sharks. Mbata, he was, for some reason, the SA Rugby hooker of the weekend, but he did struggle to find his jumpers a lot of the time in the game. So, getting to line-out time, the Lions might target that. The guys that will be tasked with that is Skuman, and this week, Not Nochel is also into the side, because... The Lions have a couple of injuries with lock time, with Alberts being out and now Van der Slees also being injured. Ruben van Eerden and Hichu, like I said last week, they struggled at line-out time. But over the park, they did quite well, especially Hichu scoring three tries in that game. It's not often where a lock scores three tries. So if he can get a couple here and there over the season, he might find himself as a top try scorer at the end. When we do get to the loose forwards, the Lions loose forwards, that's probably the the three players on the park that really did play well last week for them. Emir Palser, Chituka, very hard runner of the ball. He was just all over the park. And then Frankie Horn as well. Sia Kulisi, he had it, his first competitive game for the Sharks last week. Mixed emotions there. He wasn't brilliant, but there was some parts of his game that was quite good. But they are trying to get him to play more at the breakdown at the Sharks now. Getting to number 7, Henku Fenter is up against Chituka and then Noche is at number 8. Noche says he wants to play in that British and Irish Lions tour so he will want to get some form at this point. When we get to number 9, Andre Warner, he's the Lions' guy at Scrumhoff. He did sign a new contract during the week. Grant Williams, he's tossed again at number 9 for the Sharks there. Cohen Bosch at number 10, he was good last weekend. Up against Fred Zeilinger, who's actually the only number 10 the Lions have left. With Yankees being overseas in France, now Tian Swanapu also being injured. Fred Zeilinger is actually the only really experienced guy at number 10. At number 12, Dan Creel, he's the captain for the Lions. Up against a guy that has captained the Shark side quite a few times last weekend. It was one of his first games he really had at this level of rugby at number 12. Lukanyo Am at number 12 versus Similane. It's always a good one here for me because Am is the current number 13 for the Springboks. Similane is the 13 for the future probably. So big battle there. Similane is such a good guy when it comes to attack. You saw it a couple of times last week. Am the good guy when it comes to uh, getting his defensive structure ready. Last week, probably not the best game for him. Then we do get to the outside backs. And Corsi and Penke, they were very quiet for the Sharks last week. I can't remember them doing much for them. The Lions, they have Skosan, also a quietish game. And then Makwane, he comes in at number 14 for Pinar, who is injured for the Lions as well. Yeve Yun, he comes in at number 15. He played a long section of last week's game with Swanepoel being injured as well. Unfortunately, he has a long injury there. And he was so good. I actually thought he might be in for a shot with the British and Irish Lions tour. I don't know how long he is going to be injured. So you Lions fans can maybe let me know. Farsi at number 15. Wow. Such a good attacker. Last week he was just defeating defenders left and right. I think he defe defeated eight defenders. Uh, defensively though, I still say he's not the best defending fullback. He's caught out of position a lot of times. Uh, going up and onto the wrong man. So 
a lot of times fussy on defense not the right guy but on attack always the right guy to give the ball to on the bench there's the only changes the sharks do have with Leroux roots coming in and Jaden hendricks are back from his injury happy to see him because i think that's probably the best scrum half that the sharks do currently have Kieran van vieren he's the hooker on the bench for the sharks also the best hooker in my opinion for them the Lions, they welcome back Yaku Fusaki from his injury. So that's a good hooker for them to bring back. Macbeth and Nklabakanya, I think I said that right. That's the two props for the Lions up against Mchunu and Harps. Uh, I don't know really who's going to have the upper hand there. Leroux Roots, the big number 19, comes in for JJ van der Mesh. It's a like for like change there. Len Massain at number 19, Butelezi at number 20 versus the other Chetuka brother, Mornay van der Berg, who also extended his contract with the Lions versus Jaden Hendrikse. And then Mardney Libok versus Jordan Hendrikse. So it's going to be interesting with the two Hendrikse brothers up against each other. It's the first time they ever play against each other at any level. Werner Koker at number 23 and then Berger Wendendal coming back from his injury at number 23 guys getting into prediction time i don't think the lions did that well last week they lost by 13 points to the bulls there at the end the sharks they won by three points to the stormers and like i said it wasn't their best performance they could have had so for me i still think the sharks are the better team here i think the sharks will win this one by seven points let me know your prediction down in the comments below also check out these videos next to me hit the subscribe button if you do like the channel and then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Bye.